Hi, sweetie pie. It's like deja vu with you, Des. Hi, good morning, everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. And Des was out on his platform looking adorable. And the moment I walked up, he went right into his feeding lockout. <laughs> gonna wait and see if he settles in so please take a minute and share this tag your friends and family wow let everybody know that we are live with mr. Des oh goodness hi Deb hi Jane hi Jen <laughs> you just settle in there mr. Desi Hi, Marcy. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Cassie. Good morning, Lori. Hi, Cheryl. What's Hutch saying? Do you hear him? What's he saying right now? We're coming, Hutch. Buddy, I just, I just wanted to see you lay down and groom. <laughs> well, happy Sunday, everybody. Hi, Leah. Hi, Bella. Good morning. Let's see if he wants to hang out. If not, we'll move along. Thank you so much, Chris, for sharing into the groups. Hi, kiddo. <laughs> Desi, but... <laughs> but Mimi says she loves you. Don't you love us, too? Good morning, Patrick. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> he just can't make up his mind yet. Oh, you guys started with these cats yesterday, too? Well, that's all right. I guess that shows that I definitely don't watch the weekend lives. I love Kristen and Amanda, I really do, but I have learned to take my days off as days off. Good morning, Mary. So this is Des. Des is a three-legged African serval that was rescued well over a decade ago and has been calling Big Cat Rescue home ever since. He looks very good. Beth Ann and Emma have worked really, really hard after taking the grooming class with me to focus their efforts on Des and he looks great usually requires some sickles or treats or enrichment and they use a long stick um, in which they have heavily taped a furminator to the end of it so that has worked out really well hi carrie ann good morning Definitely keep sharing. That was really odd when this first started up. We had well over 200 people watching and now it's way less again. So I am not sure why all of our numbers are down across the board, but Howard and Carol have asked me to start brainstorming because the online store is not doing that great for the cats and our donations are down and uh, it's so much pressure. <laughs> I want to do a good job for these cats. So if you guys have any ideas, fundraising ideas, things you'd like to see, I know I'm going to be focusing some efforts more in the supporter video, Instagram, Facebook reels, more little snippets of videos and such. It'll be a learning curve. My birth date dictates me as a millennial, but I feel way more old school than that. So <laughs> very, very conflicted. I gotta learn some newfangled technologies. <laughs> uh, hi, Susan. Sorry you didn't get a notification, but I'm so glad that everybody is sharing and tagging. 
So the other thing that's been troubling me is why I'm losing so many followers over on our Instagram page. So if you guys have not joined Instagram, I'd really love for you to, even if it's just for the cats, <laughs> you can go find us on Instagram. We are just big cat rescue, all one word. Our image is um, an or our orange logo. We have like 178,000 followers, but I'm starting to think I need to bring the lives back over there, even just once a week, a short live over on Instagram. And that means I'm going to need a lot of help in the comments because that is an area that just typically doesn't seem to totally get <laughs> the big cat crisis because there are so many idiot influencers out there that think it's cool to have an exotic pet and make an Instagram account for them. And so that makes our job a lot more difficult, but it sure is worth all the education when you finally break through to somebody and show them why that's wrong. So that won't probably happen this week though. This is gonna be a short week for me. I am going to try and do lives each day that I'm here this week because uh, Mark and I are leaving. Um, I will only be here part of the day on Wednesday. I have a family thing. Um, there's a ginger and a hutch. Hi, hutch. I know. I always show you. I don't ever get to show ginger. That's all right. I'm here. I finally made it. Hi, buddy. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Hi, cutie pie. This is the best cutie pie. This is the best cutie pie. My goodness. Yes, it is finally going to be race weekend. Three days in a row of getting up at 2 a.m. <laughs> it's going to be interesting, right? At this point, I just got to trust my training. Right? Yeah, I try. I will try very very hard to get all four of the medals. Yes. <laughs> I know all kinds of people have been asking me. It's really funny. People like in my actual like everyday in person life don't ask me a whole lot or kind of really even pay attention nor care. <laughs> but everybody online really wants to know <laughs> all the things happening. So I told my husband, I'm like, I'm not going to post anything unless it's on our blog site while we're gone so that's how I'm going to process the weekend and anybody who wants to see what we're doing can watch it there are we eating grass oh my goodness <laughs> Suzanne I do have a a real in-person family but sometimes the internet family is just <laughs> the best <laughs> You guys are always so supportive. I really do appreciate it. What are you eating? That doesn't even look like grass. That's just a weed. That's just a weed, goofball. That's craziness. That's you. So all the things that I had been kind of telling you guys that I've witnessed with Priya that I have been um, documenting for the vet group has finally transpired into us trying a medication with her because Afton did finally get some video of kind of her weird, her trying to make noise and not making noise and then she sounds a little coughy, sneezy. Um, so they started her on a medication yesterday, so she's still eating and doing all of her normal things, but we are absolutely going to keep an eye on her. So that is my latest heads up on Priya. Tracy asked if I have any kids. I do not. I don't plan to either. Um, this sanctuary is basically my kids. These cats have turned into my children. <laughs> my now three cats at home, long story, all of those. All of those feral boy cats that keep showing up 
in desperate need of health care. <laughs> but that's actually something that Mark and I, we've been together 13 years, and we talked about that very early on that we really weren't interested and if we ever were it would probably be adoption and then it turned into adopting cats. <laughs> uh. You're so silly. Hi, kiddo. Oh, nice head bonk. Nice head bonk. Nice head bonk. Um, I'm sorry I missed who asked the question, but somebody asked if I was still going to the rehab conference, and I am not. So instead of being gone for basically 12 days in a row, I will only be gone for six. So um, I plan to try to do a live each day this week. So today, Monday, Tuesday, unless I'm volunteering Tuesday, that would be the only, I need to check in on all that. I try to watch the schedule and if it looks like absolutely nobody else is showing up, then I sign up. Um, and that could keep me from doing a morning live, but that doesn't mean I couldn't come out and do an afternoon live of some sort. And then I'll try to do one Wednesday morning before the staff meeting. I will attend our staff meeting and then I'll be heading out for um, a family thing. And then the next day is when we leave for Disney race weekend. So, um, but I will be back on March 1st. Kiddo. So silly. Well, I do want to say hello and good morning to anyone who's brand new and has never watched a Big Cat Rescue Facebook Live. Welcome. And if you have any questions, please, please make sure you ask them. We've got all kinds of moderators and regular viewers. We've been doing this for many years. I'm coming up on my five year work anniversary. So that means there are five years worth of lives that I have done because the very first day I set foot on this property as a paid staff member, I did a live that morning <laughs> and haven't stopped since. So uh, let's see, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments since I didn't get a chance to see what the Catterday walkabout was. <laughs> Thanks, Marcy. I, I love our Disney connection. <laughs> I love finding Disney adults because everybody always wants to ask my husband, especially, why do you guys spend so much time at Disney? Isn't that for kids? I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm like, kids can't drink around the world. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> but uh, there's so much fun there and it's definitely my happy place besides here. And it's only an hour and 45 minutes away. So that's exciting. He might get grouchy at me, but I do have his shirt on today. Mr. Kimba! Hi, Bubs! Oh, that's not very nice. Kimba is still enjoying his time in vacation rotation, but he is always irritable in the morning because we still shift him back and forth for cleaning. So that basically means that Kimba comes into his roof section. All the way out there is the open air section, two and a half acres. But as soon as the cleaning crew comes out, all the keepers will walk around the open air section first, um, pick up any old enrichment, feces, anything that shouldn't be in there. And then they will swing back up and they'll open the door for him to go out into that section all the way out and then they'll close it behind him and then we can safely clean his two lockouts here that are these extended boxes off the side of the enclosure. That's where his food plate is and his water bowls. I know, sweet boy. I'm wearing your shirt today though. I have something weird in my shoe. He's a good boy. Look at that gorgeous boy. 
at that gorgeous boy. So I can definitely tell you that neutering Kimba thus far has not calmed him down any. He's still given his peace of mind to several different keepers. He also just doesn't like being confined and I don't blame him at all, not one bit. I didn't really want him to lose all of his spiciness. I just wanted him to feel maybe a little more relaxed. And I think he does. I mean, he's certainly not agitated all day long. He just, he's like, I want to go out there and play. I want to go to my favorite platform. So just for now, he is in the roof section until his cleaners come out. You guys can watch him on two live streaming cameras that are live 24 seven. And you can find all of those at bigcatcams.com. Spicy boy. Spicy boy. Getting them steps in. Gotta maintain his manly figure. <laughs> all right. Well, are there any cats? So anybody who has watched pretty much every live and been caught up since all the lives last week, what cats have we not really seen or spent very much time with? Before I leave this area, I'll wait and see in the comments. All the hooligans are in town, all the vultures. Not many bobs lately. So actually last week I did go all the way down the strip of bobs from Gilligan all the way down to Moses and Bailey. And we actually spent some really good time with Bailey. Um, she was out and about and I was like, that's craziness. Simba. I showed Mary Ann and Max twice last week because they moved to a brand new enclosure. And they are definitely still being very suspicious. They're kind of living separate lives on separate ends of the, of the spectrum right now. So if you missed any of those lives, you can rewatch all of them at bigcattv.com. Joy says winter. Yes, that actually is very true, but I am on foot and winter is way over there on the other side of the lake. <laughs> so. Uh, we did Mouser, Val, Gilligan, and Summer last week because it was Val's birthday and rescue anniversary. Yeah, I did try to find Cyrus on Thursday and it was super windy and he did not show up. So I can definitely retry him. Lee is currently tucked in a den, I believe, because I don't see her out here. We're going to walk right by Simba, so let's try him. Let's see. Uh, not that I'm aware of. Max and Marianne are still on separate ends of the enclosure. I don't know if they are venturing at night or if Manny is too scary. I know a lot of the keepers are very concerned for both of them. They're both eating and doing fine, but they're definitely not interacting yet. <laughs> um, despite giving them enrichment and various things, but again, we, we don't make the decisions around here. So I'm sure over time they'll settle in. Cats really don't like change, I can tell you that much. Even within the same group of enclosures, moving them can be quite the ordeal. Um, let's see, is there a Simba? Yep, there's an upside down Simba back there, so let's go this way. Get this 
gate closed really quickly. Hi kiddo, can I come say hi? I don't want to startle him. Hi Bob! Look at that boy! Oh, let's come see a Simba belly. Let's see a Simba belly. Ooh. Hi kiddo! How's that boy? Oh, what a good stretch. What a very good stretch, Simba. Hi Simmers. Hey, Sim Sim. Him such a good boy. Him is such a good boy. Look at those feet. <laughs> Look at those feet. Have you been soaking in your pool at all? I haven't noticed you swimming much after your neuter. Kimba and Simba were both neutered about a week apart from each other and they both now have full access back to be able to run and jump and be on platforms and get in pools and I personally just haven't seen Simba in his pool lately. It's also been a little bit chillier I guess too but that usually doesn't stop the tigers. I love water. You're such a good old boy. Yep, he is zonked. This is what a full belly tiger looks like. <laughs> this is what a full belly tiger looks like. We feed the cats every single morning between um, 8 and 9 a.m. and the only exceptions to that is if it's a medication type fasting day. But even then, a lot of the cats still get a couple bites snack in the morning and evening, either with a med or just to maintain weight. And so their morning routines are pretty standard. We eat, we lick our plate clean, especially if you're Simba. And then he just eats right there in that feeding lockout where you see that bowl and that plate and that hose. And so he makes it about this far and then he just <laughs> passes out <laughs> for a couple hours. Then there's some grooming. Eventually by the afternoon, he'll stalk and chase and want sickles and... So sweet. So sweet. Tracy, we aren't a hundred percent sure the age of Simba. Um, Simba, Kimba, and Max all came to us being rescued. Um, ADI rescued them out of Guatemala. Uh, so they're retired circus cats. Thank the Lord they don't have to do that kind of stuff anymore. And they were estimated to be around 10 years old or so um, when they came to us back at the end of 2019. Cheryl, that's a great question. Um, I have not heard whether Simba's um, blood work and all of his results from his exam have come back. Um, I know there was a little mass in his ear that we were watching um, I personally have not seen it being discussed. That doesn't mean there's not a sidebar happening between Dr. Justin and Jamie, but it's not been privileged knowledge to the rest of us if there has been a discussion. So right now I've kind of chalked things up to no news is good news. But we will keep an eye on them, of course. He's done really well after his um, procedure, but uh, unfortunately it really hasn't fully stopped him either. Now, I've learned this just from having neutered two feral cats that were quite a bit older when they got neutered. 
Um, and I've had multiple vets tell me that it can take four to six months for that testosterone level to really kind of mellow out. Um, so we might see lingering things and then eventually they'll just kind of grow out of the aggressiveness or the, the stalking and chasing and roaring at certain people that a few of them do. Um, but then again, that might just be their true feelings about those people. I don't know. <laughs> I will say on Tuesday when I was out volunteering, feeding and cleaning, that Simba was very sneaky with me and he's never actually been like that. Jasmine has always been that way with me. I don't know if they've been talking to each other <laughs> lately and Jasmine's like, hey, Simba, it's really fun to try to chase Brittany down because he did that for the first time ever on Tuesday, but clearly right now I'm not a bother, so I really don't know. For us, as long as they're eating and not restless and look pretty content like this, this is our ultimate goal because in all reality, there's never going to be a cage big enough. They're, these cats don't belong in cages. They should be born wild and free. Their moms should be able to raise them and then kick them out of the nest to go find their own territory and start their own lives. And unfortunately, a lot of these cats, you know, are being bred in captivity so people can have them as pets or the photo prop industry or the entertainment industry. And then when they're too big or they get too aggressive, then they're cast off into people's private collections, backyard zoos, roadside zoos, all of those things. And if they're really, really lucky, they end up at an accredited sanctuary. So that looks like a pretty good retirement for our buddy here. That's a pretty good retirement right there. All right, buddy. Enjoy. I thought I saw Aria up and about, so let's go see. Lately, she's been zonked out in a den by the time I get over to her. It's nice when they want to fall asleep out in the open like that, but they, they do love their dens, so. Big thank you to anybody who's answering questions or asking questions. and about. Let's see if she wants to hang out. She might just be doing her morning walk. Hi, Aria. Hi, honey. Can we come visit? Hi, very pretty girl. Pretty girl. Ooh, hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, pretty, pretty. Ooh, hi, gorgeous. Ooh. Hi, baby. What a good girl. Ooh. Ooh. Noise you hear her making is a tiger chuff. It's what we consider a tiger hello. Do you lay down? Perfect. Yay! So your shoulder looks good. Anybody who is brand new, if there's one tiger on property that you should learn her story and know why these cats should never be in private hands, it's our Aria girl. Right? Yeah. Bless your heart, honey. She came to us with very, very severe wounds. <laughs> yes, I know. I hate talking about it in front of you. We've come so far. Gaping wounds that could have killed her. And to be honest, it was even discussed. Is she too far gone? Can we even save her? 
Dr. Justin wanted to try and of course so did we, so never gave up and she's pretty well healed. Occasionally she gets one a little irritated, but you can see the forever scars on both shoulders and both hips. Oh, that's a good spot. That's a good spot, honey. She's our resident roly-poly tiger. Always rubbing and rolling. She came to us as a witness protection cat while we waited for the state of Ohio to get through litigation with her previous owner and then we were told she could stay with us forever so she's definitely one of the most special stories that we really have modern day we've got um, some insane rescue stories from over the years So silly. You kind of laid away from us though. <laughs> yes, rubbing that hand. Oh, there's the belly. There's the belly. Oh, goodness sakes. Oh, goodness sakes. We sure do love you, lady. Thank you so much for the donations, it looks like. Oh, Kelly, that's very sweet. Thank you very much for the donation in honor of Mark and I's race. I really appreciate that. I'm sure the guys at his job have probably teased him a little bit that he's running the princess fairy tale challenge, but <laughs> I did tell him if I was gonna try this running nonsense to see if I liked it, I needed some bling out of it, so. <laughs> Linda, we do not have a breed back into the wild program. I don't even know if that's really a thing. Uh, it's definitely not a thing in our country. Um, in the U.S., you can't, you know, breed a bunch of tigers here in the U.S. and then send them back to India. That's just not something anyone's doing. So we really don't believe in breeding uh, in captivity, breeding for a life in prison, essentially, because they can never, ever go free. Um, once they're born and raised in a cage, raised by humans on non-native lands, you can't set them free. Now what we do here at Big Cat Rescue is we do rehab and release um, native Florida bobcats. <laughs> yes, Mark. Mark has actually been a runner our entire relationship. He's done many, many half marathons. He just did his first full marathon in 22. And that was the day that I decided, heck, if I'm also getting up at 2 a.m. and I'm just sitting at the finish line for a couple hours, I could just do this darn thing and get a medal also. So then we decided that, all right, I'm gonna do it and he's gonna do it with me. Yes, he's gonna do it too. You get that foot. You get that foot. You get it. I think we're only going to run the 5K and 10K together, though. I told him to just leave me behind on the half marathon and let me just work it out on my own. So we'll see. See how it goes. To be fair, the first two Disney races he ever did was... Star Wars. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're so goofy. You're getting that foot. You're getting that foot. So back to the, the real topic here. Um, since we don't do any breeding here at Big Cat Rescue and we don't believe in breeding in captivity like that because again you're not setting them free. Yes you might be preserving a species, but it's just for them to live in a cage in a zoo here in the U.S. What we really, really want to focus on and sort of our new mission after the Big Cat Public Safety Act 
um, passed into law, meaning no more cub petting, no more breeding, no more having them as pets. Now, if people already had them and they do all the proper legalities, they can keep their animals. But the goal was to put an end to the nonstop pumping out of cubs being born in captivity and then living there their whole life. Where are you going? Oh, okay. I thought maybe you were going to go to bed. So our big goal at this point is to um, make sure that we are actually holding up the law. And so we are trying to find these places that are still breeding and doing cub petting opportunities because that's now illegal in the U.S. Um, but we really want to save their environments in the wild. We want to save them in the wild. Humans should not be taking over whether these cats live or die in the wild. We need to save them, find better ways for them to cohabitate alongside humans. That's why we have for many years now done in situ projects. That's why we've always done the walkabouts. That's why we do International Tiger Day. We've supported many different initiatives in the wild. And from my understanding, we will be continuing to do that. Oh, okay, that's where she's gonna lay down. All right, lady, you have a good day. You have a good day. Let's go try to see Cyrus. I was pretty bummed out that he seemed kind of freaked out on Thursday, but that's not abnormal. Um, on a flea medication day, the cats tend to get a little less trusting for a couple of days. I know the day after, I think it was Friday, Mrs. Claus wouldn't eat in lockout. Marianne wouldn't eat in lockout. They just, they're like, mm -mm, you put poison in my food, <laughs> which, you know, it's very important. We have to make sure that the cats are on flea medications, dewormers. All of those things are very important to their long-term health. So it might not be the greatest, Thing that they go through but it's important so that and it was super windy that was a really weird it was a weird live well, looks like our project crew is out or heading out Uh-oh, looks like that, that little barn door was open for some reason. I hope, hope there's not raccoons living in there. Probably blew open with all that wind. Morning! Was that just randomly open? There's like a whole family of raccoons that live in there now. <laughs> Did you? Good, good. <laughs> Right, let's try to find this boy today. Let's find this boy. Mr. Cyrus! Unless whatever they did to ins to redo his pool and pond. Is oh, there you are! Hi, Bobby. Hi, kiddo. Oh, I missed you. I missed you. Are you still mad at people for flea medication? Cyrus, what's that boy doing? Hi, kiddo. I love you. Yeah. Yeah, we love you. He's a good boy. You've been watching those whistling ducks, huh? You've been watching those whistling ducks, huh? My love bug. 
Sorry I woke you up. Sorry I woke you up. Yeah. What you doing? <laughs> you wanna go over here in the shade where it's a little less warm? Yeah? I love you. Yeah. My goodness. You go over here? Or you wanna hang out here in your grasses? You hanging out? Everybody gets Aria and Cyrus back to back? Oh my goodness. How do we even deal with it? How do we even deal with all that cuteness? Huh? He's the biggest sweetie pie. Your pom pom ears and your wiggle worm tail. Yeah. And come over here too where it's quieter from your waterfalls. Yeah. What you been up to? Anybody give you anything good? Oh, this weekend for enrichment. Anything good? Right? You don't got much to say, huh? It must have been a fairly uneventful weekend. been an uneventful weekend. That can't be possible. Some of your favorite peoples were here. He's gotten pretty close with his Saturday crew. Yeah. if because he got shifted and shut out of a few sections while they were repairing pools and whatnot if he's just been a little more paranoid than normal plus you throw the medication in there and it's like who knows are they cleaning you it's like the cleaners are out lisa and Dee, Dee are here are they cleaning up your mess you better go check on them yeah, they are. Cleaning up after that boy. Cleaning up after that boy. Good boy. <laughs> Speedy pie. Alright, so I do have a couple of things to mention, and I just saw Mary mention it, and thank you for that reminder. So, if those of you who have been using the animal, or animal, Amazon, <laughs> I'm looking at an animal, the Amazon Smile program for the last few years that has helped bring in just an amazing amount of money for the cats. <laughs> He's like, hi, Dee Dee! <laughs> so they are ending that program on February 20th so that is tomorrow so if there are any last big purchases or if you just have a lot of little things that have built up that you really need to order from Amazon we would love for you to do that um, today because tomorrow is officially the end of Amazon Smile helping the big cats. So we would like to get maybe one last good boost from that. So if you've 
been using Amazon Smile. Keep us, of course, as your charity of choice and make those purchases today. We'd really, really appreciate it. The other thing I want to mention that ends tomorrow is our current float.org campaign, which features Priya Tiger. So it is an exclusive shirt that will only be sold through tomorrow. When you purchase from float.org backslash big cat rescue, the cats get $8 per item that you buy. Um, we already crushed our first goal of a thousand, which was awesome. And we are about at 1500. So I would really love to see us break the $2,000 mark. So if you've already purchased your item, thank you so very much. But if you wouldn't mind sharing that on Facebook or Instagram and showing people that it will end tomorrow. What you doing up there being king of the world? Him's king of the world. So again, float.org, click on Big Cat Rescues. Um, logo and you'll be able to purchase an item that features Priya. You're so cute. Look at you up there being king of the mountain. So yeah, go go do some shopping. We would really appreciate it if you can, of course. Just sharing these lives, helping out in the comments really does help us reach new people that might be interested in donating or purchasing. So again, float.org campaign ends tomorrow. And tomorrow is also the last day that Amazon Smile will be benefiting the big cats. Are you gonna get her? You can get her. <laughs> No surprise attacks. <laughs> You're so stinking cute. You're so stinking cute. And of course, uh, there's only about a week or so left in February. And if you've not sponsored a cat yet, you can still do that. If you sponsor any of the cats at bigcatrescue.biz, you're going to be able to be entered into the sponsorship drawing at the end of each month. Cutie pie. <laughs> Those ears are just killing me. I was going to say, I, I think I'm blocking <laughs> the next spot you need to be. <laughs> he left you a good pile over there. Okay. There's pile. a good okay, pile over there. <laughs> good job, buddy. You're just going, going. <laughs> he loves the little sandbox. It has become a very appropriate litter box. Good job, bubs. Cutie pie. Cutie pie. I like when you're at face level. This is very fun. <laughs> it is convenient. It is convenient. I'm like, my old knees don't have to crouch down for you. This is great. <laughs> so again, you can sponsor any of the cats. Last month, the prize was a paw painting from Priya. This month, the winner will get to choose their favorite cat, and then they will receive that cat's name sign. And I haven't fully decided what we're doing in March yet. Um, there will be a prize every single month this year, so thank you to everybody who's sponsoring cats each month. We also just wrapped up our February eBay auction, so we'll have another one coming for you in March. I'm going to keep the rehab bobcat theme a little bit longer. We're, we're dwindling. We don't have a whole lot left of past rehab cats. I do have a, quite a few of some of our current one little fluff ball in particular that I know everybody will be excited about. So if you've never signed up to receive our emails about our eBay auctions, 
please go ahead and do that. Um, you can go to bigcatrescue.org backslash auction. And there's just a little form for you to fill out and then you'll get added to our list. <laughs> Very rubby today. I'm like, okay, my litter box is clean. I'll come down now. <laughs> All right, well, we got one little hello from Cyrus. Bye, buddy. I'll see you later. Love you. Love you. <laughs> All right. Since Priya's shirt ends tomorrow, I'm just going to kind of get a glance and see if I can even spot her. If not, we've got a duchess up and moving. Hi, Miss Lady. Hi, Miss Lady. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, there's Priya. We see Priya in the background. Hi, Lady Love. Hi. Yeah. Let's go see these girls. So this is where we'll wrap up for today. Last two cats. Oh, Priya might be heading out into the unknown. <laughs> they just saw her disappear. She's about an acre, acre and a half enclosure and she just walked right out into the center of it. Hi, honey. This is Duchess. You can see the aftermath of her choosing the big game winner. I know you didn't choose correctly this year. What a bummer. What a bummer for you, but you made our ops manager very happy. So that's the aftermath of her having chose the Eagles, but she actually destroyed Kansas City's way more intensely. So I don't know, make, make that decision what you want. <laughs> Good chance she'll still be the picker next year because <laughs> she's definitely the most enthusiastic tiger when it comes to enrichment. Pretty much always a guarantee smash. <laughs> well, Marcy, since we keep talking about this Disney race, you should see my playlist. I made a three hour and 30 minute playlist and 90% of it is Disney music because that is the full allotted time you can take to run your half marathon, 13.1 miles. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make sure that my music is exactly that. So just in case I take the full allotted time, <laughs> we'll see go try to see Priya while she is back out and moving. And Into the Unknown is on it, of course. Hi! We're gonna go see Miss Priya before she disappears for the whole rest of the day. <laughs> She's a little hangry. Aww. Is you hangry, lady? Hi, baby. Oh <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You had a yucky peel in your med in your food this morning. Hey, hey, where are you going? Hey, where are you going? Miss Priya. <laughs> See if she's really gonna walk all the way down there. Yep, yep. She's bound to come back. Unless she takes off to her favorite sunshine spot. Yes. Come here, hangry girl. Come here, hangry 
girl. There she goes. Hi. Come here. I didn't put the medicine in your food. I didn't do it, babe. Hi. Hi, special girl. Hi, special girl. Yeah, I didn't medicate you. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. We just want you to talk again. I was a bad cook. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> See, Jen was the bad one, not me. You can come hang out. Not till tomorrow, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, tomorrow I'm the bad guy. <laughs> she just really wants to be up where Barbara Ann is. <laughs> well, there's a noise. That's good. <laughs> she just really wants in where you're at. Clean water and no more icky food with medicine in it. That they're hurrying, lady. Look, she, I get all the way down here, and she's like, okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. They do their own thing no matter what, and they're super weird. over there that she was the whole time she was in the now she's likely now she's got like oh this is my new spot mm -hmm. I go here all the time and no one can reach it <laughs> yeah. and not even with the long scrape <laughs> yeah. yay look are you done with the extra water bowl not yet <gasps> but you can come into this one I'm now <laughs> she, she's acting very desperate. Does the Betro make you thirsty? Does Betro make you thirsty? It probably does. Good job, honey. Come get this water. Come get this water. <gasps> Yay! Thank you, Barbara Ann. Good job, honey. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> It's all right. They're just dumping your other water bowl. They're just dumping your other water bowl. Yeah. Good job. She's like, now I want water in this other bowl. Oh, good. A good drink and a good flop. Can we expect your mooin to return in the next couple days? I hope so. Hope so. Well, now she wants this one. Yeah, she took a good drink out of that one, though. Such a good lady. <laughs> such a good lady. Yeah, such a good lady. You're gonna start feeling a lot better. Whatever ickiness you've got going. Well, a very big thank you to anybody and everybody who sponsored any cats today and anyone who donated. I really appreciate you guys and I am forever in your debt for everyone who helps out in the comments. You guys are amazing and I just couldn't do any of this without you and your support and your knowledge and your patience. If you missed any part of this live, oh, yes you, you can rewatch it. Yeah, you get in second bowl of water now. All right. <laughs> it's either that or the den. I haven't really seen her in those dens lately, though. She likes to disappear into the abyss for the day. 
I think she does, yeah. She grows her own every year. That's why she doesn't play with them when we give them to her. <laughs> She's like, I have my own things. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe just in. Or she just really just wanted to walk through this bubble. <laughs> Your door is still closed, though. All right, well. You gonna get cozy. And again, tomorrow, float.org backslash Big Cat Rescue, Priya's design is available just until tomorrow. So help us get to our $2,000 goal. We'd really appreciate that. Rewatch this at bigcattv.com. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you, everybody. What are you doing? Just being a busybody. Busybody. <laughs> I really haven't seen her in that den much lately used to be her favorite place. All right, tucked in for all day sleeping. Have a good day, everybody.